So it's that strange time of year the Germans call Zwischen den Jahren, the period between the main Christmas celebrations and the New Year. As for what to call it in English, lexicographer Susie Dent once said that she'd heard it being called the Merineum and asked for some better alternatives, using the hashtag Twixtmas, which is almost a word that is actually suggested by Wiktionary. It's okay, Susie. It's not like anybody's going to remind you of it eight years later. This is the perfect opportunity to look back on the old year and forwards to the new year, to review our successes and our failures, and to strive to improve and better ourselves, to become the best that we can possibly be. Oh. Good grief, did I actually write this? Okay, so, Germany 2022. How was it? Well, let's see. A war in Europe, climate change, inflation, the deterioration of the transport infrastructure, the increasing homelessness, the ongoing pandemic, supply chain problems, fuel shortages, the national team being knocked out of the World Cup in the group stages, the continued existence of Dieter Bohlen, Right, uh, but there must have been some positives as well, um, such as... Uh, oh yes, they tested the nationwide disaster alert system, and this time it wasn't a complete fiasco. Okay, look, I've made this point before and I'll make it again. Yes, times are tough, but they've often been tough before. When we look at the challenges that are facing us now, it's important to remember that we're comparing them with three or four decades of unbelievable peace and prosperity. But I think it doesn't help that the German media have found it in their interest to keep us all on edge. Just to be clear, I don't want to deny that things are not great at the moment, I just don't like the way that the press is seemingly giving us the impression that this is an unprecedented existence crisis. Here's an example. Ever since it became clear that the war in Ukraine would cause problems for the supply of gas and oil to Germany, we've been hearing non-stop about the energy crisis. Come winter, we would all be freezing in our homes. Which, by the way, is pretty much in line with what the Russian propaganda machine wants everyone to believe. I've even had comments on some of my videos asking me how we're coping with the endless blackouts. And so while the German government moved with quite surprising speed to make alternative arrangements, the media became obsessed with the state of our gas reservoirs. A few days before Christmas we were told that they were emptying rapidly, and now, just a couple of days after Christmas, we're being told they're filling up again, but there's still the chance that they might be empty next winter. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the Earth will be hit by a comet. Maybe the aliens will land. Maybe Olaf Scholz will be photographed eating a hamburger with a knife and fork. Who can say? That's next winter, though. We have almost a whole year to reorganise our energy supplies. I mean, we do need to do that. But maybe let's not assume that we're going to fail before we even get started. So what do I think next year looks like for Germany? Well, these are uncertain times. A lot depends on what happens in Eastern Europe, and I can't even begin to predict that. But a few days ago, Christian Drosten, Germany's most respected virologist, said that he thinks that we are now seeing the first endemic wave of Covid, meaning that, in theory, the pandemic is now over. Now, I'm with those who think that maybe we should wait until spring before we drop all the mask mandates, but it looks as if, in future, instead of going for our annual flu shots, we'll be going for our annual flu and Covid shots. And on the crumbling transport infrastructure, well, I don't see that improving anytime soon. I mean, it, some of the problems are very deep-seated and are going to take a lot of time to resolve. But it does look as if the government is at least trying to look into ways of possibly tackling them. I mean, it's not much, but it's a start. So, with all that said and done, farewell to 2022. We survived it without a single blackout. Oh. Whew. Right, okay.